All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we have Dane here with us today. What's up, Dane? How are you doing? I'm very well. Uh, I should preface that quick that uh, I am a casual Snap player. <laughs> That's when I throw that in there, that quick. <laughs> so, yeah, so Dane's going to be judging uh, judging Snap cards today. He has played Snap casually, and um, he is familiar with a lot of the pool one and two cards, I believe. So we're going to throw some pool three, four, and five cards at you today, Dane. How are you feeling going into this? Uh, good, yeah. I, I play Blue Marvel Zoo, because that was the first thing I unlocked. And uh, now some, like, uh, movement decks, because I've got some of, like, the higher-end stuff, like Vision, uh, in that deck. So, uh, yeah, enjoying it. Looking forward to getting into pool free. All right, Dan, so oh. the first card we have here is Aero. She is a 5-energy, 8-power card, and she reads, On reveal, move all enemy cards played this turn to this location. Oh, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of kind of like a cloak a little bit with higher the higher stats, but you're forcing your opponent to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, five, so five energy eight. So yeah, stat line's good. Yeah, five for eight's not bad. I'm trying to think. I mean, it's good for. I, see, I don't know. Is this pool three? Did you say this, this is pool, pool three? This is this is this a pool, pool three, three card. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think what decks would you would see in like pool three. Obviously, you wouldn't really want to play this against the. A movement deck because it could like backfire yeah yeah exactly but yeah i mean i suppose like if your opponent's like making a stand on one location you could seriously mess up their uh the plans i'd say that's i mean if that that could fit into i don't know what deck that was that would kind of fit into is just move all enemy to this location but yeah it could be a good disruption card i'd say that's like a middling card I'd, i would experiment with that yeah uh, Ar Ar arrow is actually yeah uh, she's one of the top cards at the moment she's super yeah. super super good she used to be um five six actually she 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 got buffed uh, not recently but got buffed i think back in the back in the summer but uh -huh. um the real kicker with this card is uh it's it's like you said it's just a super good uh disruption card and there's also another card in the game called uh wave so what wave does is when you play her she uh the the next so you, you play wave and then the next turn all cards cost four you're probably familiar with the card i'm not too sure if you've seen it but essentially that just means if you play arrow on a spot it just drags their card they can only they're limited to basically play one card so it drags their card out as well and then if you combine that with the with another card that you might see you might see down in this uh this list of cards that we have uh you can do some some crazy shenanigans so yeah it's it's probably one of the best disruption cards in the game at the moment yeah oh when it says move all Cards played to oh, okay yeah got yeah so it's, it, they have to be on board it doesn't disrupt the hand in any way but still it's it's good for moving off that location yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the only the only uh, time this like technically doesn't work is if you play it and the location you play it on their side is full you know what I mean oh, yeah. or if they play mm -hmm. three cards and there's only two slots it will only pull two of them so and um, but yeah most of the time this is a super super good uh, disruption card for sure all right so moving on to the next card we have uh, She Hulk. She is a 6 energy 10 power card, and she reads, cost 1 less for each unspent energy last turn. Oh, oh, oh only last turn. Yeah, mm. so it's, uh, so 6, so obviously, like, so you, you, you can half her down to 5 energy, I suppose. So you, you could play a, oh no, sorry, 6 energy, you half it down to 1 in, to 1 energy should cost to be a 1 turn. On, uh, on turn six, yeah. So if you skip yeah. if you skip five, then she'll be a one ten, yeah, for sure. Yeah, or, or you could play her a little bit earlier, I suppose, as well. If you skip, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, there are a few like energy decks that I've seen with. Is it is it called Sunspot or something yeah, like that? The yeah, one Sunspot, and you've also got a uh, Infinite, which Infinite Infinite, Infinite yeah. is if you skip your turn five, you can play him. He's a six twenty. Six twenty. So yeah. um. Yeah. That, and that one, I assume, is is extremely good. I do have both of those cards, but I haven't actually dabbled in a kind of uh energy saving decks which is kind of i suppose like ramping in a way you skip a turn for uh ramping extra stats out mm -hmm. i'd say she's uh she obviously fits into that deck pretty well yeah uh, i'd say she's above average but not top tier just below perhaps because of that assuming that uh energy saving deck is good uh, uh yeah that's pretty good judgment uh so basically I would personally, I would actually probably place her on top tier. She's in a lot of the the top level decks. She's actually one of the new cards. She is a, a pool four card, so she's she's quite powerful. Um, I, I've seen a lot of people's thumbnails with this with this card. card yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew I knew it was newish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, there's a lot of really neat combos you can do with this card. One of my one of my personal favorites is you can play a card called Magic, and when you play Magic, she has to be played on turn five. She changes the location to Limbo 
which means there's seven turns in the game instead of six. So uh, if you play Magic on five, you skip six. Then you can play a free She-Hulk and an Infinite on turn seven, which is 30 power, which is a pretty big, pretty big swing. So um, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of really cool things. But yeah, I, I guess in general, right, for, for, for card games in general, if there's cards that have any sort of kind of redu reduction or if you can like cheat out big stats for a low cost, it's generally good. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's generally good. So um, yeah, perfect judge one on that, actually. All right, moving on to the next card here, we have uh, Quake. She is a uh, two energy, three power card. And she reads, on reveal, if this is at the middle location, swap the positions of each location. <laughs> That's such a weird disruption. That's so specific, though, like because the locations obviously are just uh, randomized every game, so it makes this a lot, a lot, uh, a lot worse. Uh, it's very specific because some locations obviously play a big part um, in the game in certain decks, like you know, uh, on reveals go off twice and mm -hmm. on going go off twice. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one, but I probably say it's not that great just based on the fact that it's uh, it's not that reliable because obviously the the relocations are random each game. So yeah, I'd say like it, I, I doesn't see play much. Maybe a little bit below average, bit bit too uh, niche. Yeah, this of a card. this card is barely played. Barely played. Mm. Definitely one of the least played cards in the game. Like you said, it's very, very specific. People might pull this card out again when there's like one of the annoying uh, hot locations, right? Where people just want to win that location and then you can disrupt or switch it up. But the only time Quake is really useful is, is if you get her off a random generation effect and she happens to... Oh my God, it's the perfect card. She's going to save in the game. <laughs> but uh, most of the time, yeah, Quake Quake isn't too useful. But there's a few, a few leaked cards we've seen that uh, Quake might work really really well with so um but for the moment yeah she's uh she's one of the least played cards unfortunately yeah, mm -hmm. yeah they've, they've been really good at synergizing cards like the development team so i imagine they've got something planned oh for sure yeah for sure definitely Maybe quick, yeah. definitely all right moving on to the next card we have a uh, wasp so wasp is a zero energy one power card and she has no ability she is just that's just flavor text beneath her there so she has no ability very comparable i guess to maybe like wisp um, yeah, or even oh, even uh, Tiny Finn, but at least Tiny Finn has a tag. Is is a Murloc yeah. that's used there? I'm only seeing now that Wisp actually has a tag that must have been updated for the new uh, the new expansion. Yeah, um, yeah, it's only been one mana, so it doesn't get. Uh, it's obviously like a zoo based card, it doesn't even get like um, affected by Kazar, uh, which is one of like the the main benefits in like that zoo deck because you have a lot of one drops. Um, is that that's that's a higher pool, is it? So I guess it's, pool it's three. for a higher pool. Pool it's three. three. Yeah, so you'd have it. You'd have it like maybe in your zoo deck uh, with Blue Marvel. Uh, I don't know how popular that deck is, you know, in higher ranks. Uh, I'd say like it's an average card, like bang in the in the middle average. I would uh, say based. it's probably a little bit above average, actually. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things you can do with this card that you probably haven't seen yet. So mm -hmm. there's cards. There's one particular card called Patriot, and Patriot uh, gives plus two energy to all of your cards that have no ability. So all of like your uh. Your cards that can't do anything, they get a they get a little bit of a buff. Similar to the location you, you've probably seen at Washington, Washington DC, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, she fits in really well to that deck, but probably the best deck she fits into is there's a card called Lockjaw. And basically what Lockjaw is when you when you play a card into a lane where Lockjaw is, Lockjaw uh, shuffles the card you played back into your deck and it pulls something else out. So you play this in some sort of hybrid kind of big deck where you throw a, a free cheap card down and it pulls out an infinite or something like that. So yeah. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. She's a lot more versatile than than you would kind of think on first impressions, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Looking at it from just the the, the decks I've seen so far, yeah, I can only really contextualize that in like a, a zoo deck. But yeah, that that sounds like a, an amazing like swap out turns, like annoy. Uh, what's it called? There's a card in Hearthstone that uh, pulls a peeper on board and it pulls a card from your hand. It's a mech. I forget what it's called now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really similar to that combo. Uh, all right, moving on to the next card, we have uh, Agent Colson. He is a three energy, four power card. And he reads, on reveal, add a random four cost and five cost card to your hand. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Like, guarantee guarantees your uh, your draws are going to be fantastic. Three mana, four. It's pretty It's pretty good uh, stat line. Base stats, well. yeah. Base stats line. Base stats, pretty good, yeah. Um, I mean, you could, you could literally throw that in any deck, really. And just, like, have it as a, a bridge, just in case you don't draw as, as well as you thought you would. Because obviously most decks with synergy probably have like one gapper for like a tech card, and this this could be that that gapper. Um, uh, I'd say as a tech, like as as a, a card that you might add in additionally to like one of your uh, one of your decks, it, it, 
it could it could be like a filler. Probably doesn't see play in, in every deck or a lot of decks, I should say. But you know, oh, I'm rambling here. I'd say <laughs> it's, 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 I'd say above average. <laughs> Should I give it a star? A star? Yeah, rating? go on. Like, yeah, you can check in the star ratings. Go on. Out of five. Yeah, out of five. Go on. Out of five, I'd say three point five. <laughs> uh, so. This card, when it was first uh, kind of revealed, well, when, when, when people kind of start, started playing around with this card, uh, it wasn't too, not that it wasn't too well received, but it's not very exciting, you know, compared to a lot of the cards in Snap. But um, I actually just got this card. This is the latest card I, I um, unlocked. And uh, it's super good. The reason why is specifically uh, random four and five cost. Uh, five cost cards are quite powerful. Four cost cards, the majority of four cost cards are tech cards and they're really powerful tech cards. So if you can just like add another tech card to your hand, it's like super, super good. Because the majority of the time, you're always actually going to use it. And uh, this deck also, uh, this card also slots in super well to, I don't know if you're too familiar with them. There's like the Devil Dinosaur collector decks. Yeah. So with the Devil yeah, Dino, if you just keep having cards in your hand, it's a constant kind of buff to that oh, card. So Of course, yeah. You've got the collector mm. in, the, in the deck and all sorts. Yeah, yeah. I've mm -hmm. seen it. I've seen start they pop, start popping up now on my games. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, like Moon Gill, Devil yeah, yeah. Devil yeah. Dino, yeah, yeah, for that sure. Makes sense, yeah. Um, so yeah, again, this is a type of card where a lot of people will say, "Oh, Adrian Coulson probably won't play him." Like again, he you would probably only put him in the in the Devil Dino deck. Like he's probably fine, like you said, as a filler in another deck. But you just rather play a, another card that's more synergistic. synergistic you know yeah. what I mean? Um, but yeah, pretty good judgment on that one for sure. Um, all right, so moving on to the next card here, we have uh, Death. She's a nine energy, twelve power card, and she reads: cost one less for each card destroyed this game. Yeah, so I, I do watch. I watch streams and I, I do watch people playing. Uh, I watch YouTube videos, and, mm -hmm. and I think uh, I think this is this is probably a five out of five. Is yeah, it, for a yeah, straight deck? up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of the best cards in the game. The yeah. whole the whole like destruction archetype is like super super good and snap at the moment. Um, like I said, this card works extremely well with that wave card I mentioned earlier because if cards cost four, with this card's effect, it's just zero. You're playing a zero, 12. Um, yeah. So what a lot of people would do is if you get the reduction on death, they would wave on five, and then on, on six, you'd play that arrow card that we saw to just shove all of their stuff on one lane, and then you guarantee that you win the other two lanes because you're playing a free 12 power card. Which is uh, which is absolutely busted. So yeah, this this card is definitely definitely one of the top dogs for sure. Moving on to the next card here, we have uh, Valkyrie. She's a five energy three power card, and she reads on reveal set all cards at this location to three power. So quite similar to I believe in Hearthstone, is it Sun Sunkeeper Tarum? Is that the card? Yeah, yeah, yeah pa there's Paladin. A lot, Paladin. Mm. a lot of Paladin cards that do that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's a ton. Um, yeah, I mean, so that, I mean, it's almost like a, a tech card, like a Shang Shang Chi, um, like Shang Chi. Yeah, yeah. It's just so it's it's good for that case. And, you know, if a card doesn't re like reach that power level where you can destroy it, obviously this is like a go between or, or a middling card for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not seen this at all. Not even people playing it actually. This is a series um, uh, five pool five card. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Just, it's super brand powerful new. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. brand well, new card yeah. hard to get hold of yeah mm, uh, mm. it was cool as well so yes yeah, so, i mean obviously sell up cards power to three mm -hmm. it, it's it's really good if you play that on five uh and your opponent's fully committed to one lane you don't have anything in that lane uh, and then next turn you just play a powerful like a powerful six drop in that lane you, you're almost guaranteed to win it disrupts a lot of a lot of big stuff yeah i'd say i'd say that's like a four out of five yeah yeah for sure. Super. This is the one card I don't have at the moment, and I really want to mess around with it. Super powerful. A lot of mm. things you can do with it as well is like you could even um, play it on six, and then if you somehow get a powerful one cost card to play that that has yeah. that has more than three power, you're basically going to guarantee to win that lane if it's full. So a lot of a lot, a lot of cool combos you can do with this card. Super excited to try it. Try it out soon. All right, next card here, we've got my boy Mbaku. Uh, Mbaku is a one energy, two power card, and he reads, if this is in your deck at the end of the game, it jumps to a random location. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, okay, so it's completely draw dependent. Uh, it's a, I mean, it's like, yeah, I guess it's like a, it's a free, it's technically a free card. It's like, yeah, like patches in Hearthstone. It's like a tech, it's a free card, but... It must be hard to to have that go off re like reliably and uh, not draw. But I, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to think of that you'd put him in. I mean, he'd fit 
Maybe fit in like it's cheap, like one so one energy two is not bad. Um you could put him like a, a destruction deck and just use him a token destruction, I suppose. I don't know. Um I could, I had three out of five. No, two two point five. Uh, no, two out of five. Two out of five. <laughs> Okay, I'll, well. I'll, I'll accept it 2 out of 5 just because this was like one of the first, uh, this is a new card as well, this is a pool 4 card, this is one of the first cards I got and this is the most, not out of all of the new cards, it's the worst one by a <laughs> mile. So everyone who got this card was like, what, what, what can I do with this? It's useless. So uh, me being the guy I am, I brought this card to a tournament and uh, <laughs> decided to try and try and use him out. So um, we got one, or, we got one or two clips with him. But yeah, the, the problem with him, Baku, is if you draw him, like what is he? He's just a one-two. It's awful, yeah. right? So the yeah. the only deck that I decided to try fit him in was that Lockjaw deck I mentioned with Wasp, where you put him in, he swaps with a big card, and you just oh, hope no, yeah. you just hope he stays in your deck. But the bad thing then as well is he's not even like. Um, if you're playing move, I'm not too sure if you're familiar with the card Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, basically, at the end of the game, she jumps yeah. to a location that wins you the game, if possible. But Mbaku's text isn't even jump to a location that guarantees you you uh, might yeah, win. It's yeah, just a yeah, random yeah. one. So, yeah. it's... Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this card, but it's just it's just not good. They need to buff him, for sure. They really need to buff him. Um, Alright, so the next card we have here is uh, Viper. She is a 2 energy 3 power card. And she reads, on reveal, your opponent gains control of one of your other cards at this location. I'm trying to think of like the negative cards that you'd want to give give your opponent. I mean, obviously the like, Hobgoblin already goes, or the Goblins already like go over to mm -hmm. the side of the board. Um, I mean, because I haven't experienced it yet, but I'm guessing there's, there's some bad cards that stick to your side of the table um, that you'd want to give your opponents. Uh, so this would be complete guesswork. Because obviously, like the the goblins are pretty popular. I'd say that's it's it's a pretty good card. I'd say based you know, that's this is solely based on if there are decent like negative cards to give your opponent. I'd say like uh, uh, that would slot into a deck. Uh, and it, it, if it if that did exist theoretically, I'd say it'd be like a, a four out of five, four point five out of five. Yeah, su super 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 good. Again, it's a very a niche card, like you said, that like it has to be in a specific type of deck. Um, mm. The deck I kind of throw this in is like the deck uh, you can kind of uh, make a bunch of rocks. Uh, you know the rocks, they're the one energy, zero, zero power cards. So if you yeah. have a rock on your side, you play Viper, you just kind of clog clog their lane up so they can't play too many cards. So uh, yeah, overall she's, she's super useful. There are one or two like negative cards as well that you can give, but... Um, a lot of the time for Viper, it's obviously you want to kind of give them useless cards, but even if you just like lock out one of their one of their lanes, similar to the goblins, it's just huge because you just you're just always gonna yep. win that lane if they if they can't destroy any of the cards there. So yeah, super um one of my favorite cards for sure for sure. All right, moving on to the next card here, we have uh, Electro. He is a three energy two power card, and he reads on reveal plus one max energy ongoing. You can only play one card a turn. So this is very similar to I guess Ramp in in oh, Hearthstone. Okay. Yeah, so you need you need a consistent like draw. Yeah, good good hand. Yeah, really really decent uh, single tar like single cards. Then uh, uh, it, it's mm, that seems like too restrictive. One card a turn, really. Obviously, the the power of a lot of these snap decks is um, making multiple decisions on a on a turn. Uh, I, I'd say it's it's on the weaker side of the newer cards. Maybe like a like a three out of five. Um, or, yeah, around that that area. I think just the restriction you can only play one card a turn is probably a bit too much at the minute. Uh, maybe with more cards being released in the future, that obviously becomes like super good. But yeah, I'd say on the lower end uh, of the newer stuff. This is actually, again, a really good card. A really, really oh. good card, yeah. Oh, so it's very good now, wow. It's very, it's very good now, yeah. It's super, super, super good now. Um, this fits in well with any... Because any, any type of kind of big decks, it does uh, restrict you. But the fact that you're one energy... Um, you've one energy more than your opponent consistently. Again, similar, similar to Hearthstone. It's so impactful in Snap because there's only those six turns. So... Mm -hmm. The fact that you could technically play a six energy card on five and another six energy card on six, you can do some nutty, big, big card combos. And this card is also super, super good in a particular deck at the moment. One of the new cards released is Galactus. I'll show you him. I don't know if you've seen, seen Galactus. Uh, he is absolutely nutty. I'll pull him up. I'll pull him up for you here. So Galactus is a six energy three power card. He reads, on reveal, if this is your only card here, destroy all 
other locations. So the other oh, wow. locations and all the cars at those locations just get destroyed, and it's whoever wins that one lane. Oh yeah, so you can you can like uh, build up one lane with decent decent minions. Well, oh, like, well, the idea so is you, you need to have that lane free, and then once you oh, play sorry, Galactus, yeah. you can you can start building up. So if you play Electro on a lane on a location that you know is going to get destroyed, it uh, negates the ongoing won't. effect, and you're plus one energy above. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you want to turn ahead, basically, on that that lane. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do, 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 are all the decks similar in in like the deck list, or can you can you instantly tell your opponents playing a Galactus deck? This is the thing. I've 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 a few videos on the channel at the moment where I'm like, I know, I know this guy's playing Galactus. There's a lot of cards. If you see like your Electros, you see certain cards. You're like, okay, and you can tell where he's playing his cards. If he's leaving one lane free, you know, oh, he, this is Galactus yeah. coming. So if you got cards like goblins in your deck, I've done it loads of times when I know he's about like I know this turn he's gonna Galactus. I play the goblin and nothing happens, and it's then they just then they just retreat. It's brilliant, like you know what I mean? Yeah, is Squirrel good against that deck then? Uh, well, that's a... that Squirrel location is good, but how how it works is it's it's only if if their side of the location is free. So good cards would be like the goblins or even Viper oh. to shift stuff, Viper, shift stuff yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. That square yeah. location we mentioned earlier is like if you're playing Galactus, you, you probably want to retreat if it's your only win condition. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, because you can't even hand it over to this side because if you play Viper, you've got a yeah. stuff of a Viper there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, Unless yeah, you yeah. can destroy them and still have the lane free, then it's uh, it's rough. Yeah, Galactus is uh, is a super super fun card. But again, it's fair because it's easily counterable. You can you can see him coming from a mile away. You know what I mean? Yeah. So all right, guys. So that was all of the cards. But I do have a bonus card for for Dane to give his impression on. Uh, this card is actually released at the time of recording. This card is coming out tomorrow. I know all of you guys are super excited. I am super excited for this card to come out. So this is. Null Dane. He is a six energy zero power card, and he reads ongoing has the comp combined power of all cards destroyed this game. This includes oh, wow. your opponent's cards. Oh, wow, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, that that seems like it would just be amazing in the uh, in with death paired up with death in this card. You could essentially play death and this on the uh, same turn and just have like two massive swings on two locations. Yeah, that seems like another 5-5, five, five, 5 out of 5 card. There's, yeah, there's no doubt, come on. There's no doubt, this card <laughs> is just absolutely insane. Uh, there's a lot of like, a lot of really cool things people want to do. Like again, we were just talking about Galactus. Galactus actually counts, you run death in the Galactus deck, right? So if you just, because when the locations get destroyed, all those cards get destroyed there too. So oh, you can yeah, run yeah. Galactus and then run Null. That's a huge, huge swing. It's like nearly guaranteed win. Mm -hmm. Um. He also works with like cards like Shang Chi. If you just like kill something big, he'll take the power of that card. Like there's there's a lot of fun stuff we can do with this card. I'm I can't wait to experiment with him for sure. Yeah, is that that's out tomorrow? Is so it? It comes out tomorrow. But again, I won't be able to get it for about a month because I've spent oh, yeah, all my yeah. tokens on Galactus. Like so. <laughs> um, yeah, when he comes out, oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with him for sure. So yeah, guys, that was that was all the cards that we have today. And uh, make sure you go check out Dane. He's absolutely pumping content out at the moment for the new Hearthstone expansion, new Death Knight class. I know. Dane's a huge rogue lover. He's, uh, he's he's making a lot of cool rogue decks, shaman decks. So definitely go check him out. I'll leave his links in the description. Any final words to say, Dane? I think you did pretty well, to be fair. You did pretty well today. Uh, thank you for having me on, lad. That was very, very entertaining. I, I thought um, I was going to like really struggle, but Snap is so well designed that you, you get you get an idea of how good a card's going to be based on like uh, all the synergies that you, you've got in one particular deck. So that was a lot of fun. I hope I did all right there. <laughs> <laughs>